Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. On the road, whether by plane crashes, by boat crashes, by activities of wicked and evil men, in the name of Jesus, may a mark of exemption come upon everyone here. For a strange reason, the ember months are known as months of catastrophe, tragedies of all sorts. But in the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven preserve you. May the God of heaven preserve you. And I declare over your life, the favor of God, that is his signature upon believers, may that favor rest upon you. Hear me. Every troubled family here under the sound of my voice, I speak to you, peace be still. Everyone here who is in politics and government, our parliamentarians, people from the presidency, we declare wisdom for you. Wisdom for you to help this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for those in the legal profession by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Wisdom to administer justice. In the name of Jesus. Every man and woman of God here, the grace upon you to teach truth with power and accuracy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, every, every spirit responsible for lack, want, financial hardship and poverty don't say it is not important this is a very important prayer i pray for you and all connected to you in the name of jesus christ may the season of drought come to an end in your life those trusting god for jobs i release my faith with you that doubles also for those trusting god for promotions in the name of jesus May the Lord give it to you now. Any project you have begun that seems to be failing in your hands, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, receive the finisher's anointing. The grace for completion comes on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for everyone here who has any kind of legal issue you are having whether land problem whatever it is in the name of jesus christ for some of you even this week may the prince of peace step in and turn things around whatever has affected your prayer life so that your fire for prayer the discipline of prayer and intercession is no longer there may fresh fire come upon your altar now and then i pray for your word study life everything that has affected your passion for the word i am busy i am busy i pray that in the name of jesus let there be restoration of fire any wrong ungodly association at any level that is in your life driving you to walk against the will and the purposes of god be separated from those associations now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ right now whilst we're standing everyone I apologize i know that. let me repeat myself conditions can change when people reject you they are not rejecting you there is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you when you are failing and fa fails man of god you may be in ministry no increase no results respectfully speaking there may be a condition But when God speaks, He said, Let there be, and there was. He said, Let it change. That's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies. You think Joshua Selman, in his power and strength, is able to do this? No, no, no. But I know this mighty God. 
not only because he appeared to me i know when jesus appeared to me i did not open the door for him to enter i don't even know how he entered the door is just for you he entered anyhow don't ask how it will he will enter your body no the doctors will say lie down and they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you but the holy ghost oh come on please 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 when i ask you to lay your hands it's only a point of contact to help you not help god ask the holy ghost how he entered the womb of mary he did not appear as bread and said eat and it's me no no ask the holy ghost how he entered back into jesus to resurrect him back to life are you getting what i'm saying now now hear me please everyone i want you to look at the condition you have now because that is really what we have come to deal with we, you call it sickness you call it delay you call it failure you call it confusion god calls it conditions abuja is a good land your territory is a good land but it does not mean you will just be blessed like that there is a condition you can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome what does it mean to encounter god it means to have an encounter that changes your conditions please find a way of believing what i'm telling you so you are sick apostle right now there is a situation i'm having hiv i'm having this you are right you are only describing a condition but watch the wonder walking power not the word of a man not the word of a monarch not the word of a the military the word of god when it was time for jesus to resurrect the dead he said lazarus if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is lazarus here you are the one come out i was sent to bring you out the powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name so if god speaks now and says so 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 person faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and god will honor it because what he says to one he says to all so you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name lord just speak that's all i want let me hear what you are saying and let it dear relate to my situation i will not let that word pass me by listen when the word of god comes because i'm about to pray for you now you have a responsibility number one do not just think it is a man talking no no i am only the voice echoing that word that word is coming from the throne with fire with power with grace i may not know your conditions how do i stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions it does not make sense humanly it doesn't make sense scientifically but when the holy ghost takes over you see so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused god is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking jesus here then him calls the holy spirit the unlimited presence of jesus I believe in miracles i believe that a condition you came with you actually can leave it there yes so when prayers are going on don't just be looking at other people 
if you are sick in your body you must believe that i'm ready to be healed you have some lump some growth don't sit down and say how will it disappear i've taught you it's just an interplay of energy and matter it is true some terminal disease hiv whatever blood condition maybe genotype whatever it is don't say god cannot heal you you're here you have all kinds of bone conditions don't sit back and say look at the size of my bone can i walk brothers and sisters we are talking the lord jesus christ here exalted as both lord and christ how about impartations some of you are in their need of many graces graces that create new conditions you cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you're a piece of rag it means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame and i'm telling you in the presence of god that condition can change when you say it's my background what you are simply saying is there is a condition god can give you another condition there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burden for in the sanctuary so as a normal human being you can hug you can shake you can greet but when jesus comes you will be amazed the same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again when these words begin to come please listen to me i want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life and what is it doing changing conditions changing conditions and you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of god's word the power of god is touching that woman on purple help that woman i'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you jesus the son of god Please pray strings for me. Listen. I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne. And I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke. And when they would teach, they would tell you that Jesus is here. And you would think it's a joke. Within minutes, brothers and sisters, you will see all kinds of miracles. And I said, God, there has to be an explanation to this. Just like that. And then I learned that it is not just like that. When the anointing comes, when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen, women, look up please. You know what happens to that kitchen? As soon as fire what happens sometimes the condition can be so harsh it does not speak to you but it will make you run out of that kitchen so if you are a demon for instance when the fire is applied and that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of god moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the christ we have called this a miracle service 
and the Bible says everything Adam called it that was the name thereof when Jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me I'm telling you I know the light entered me whether it entered through my head whether it entered through my chest I don't know don't ask how the power of God will get into your body <laughs> the power of God is not a needle the power of God is not a tube that is passed through you it can come in and begin to correct things and that when it's time to testify you will find yourself running to come and stand and say Jesus this really happened how about conditions in your office how about conditions in your bank account how about conditions in your your life your family apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed i tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time god releases something upon you remember all blessings come from god i've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you i don't know why i just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore is a platform that allows the word of god in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions correction that can be scientifically proven spiritual in origin miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree let me repeat myself miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree faith says be healed science confirms that it happened to you faith says be delivered science confirms that it happens every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment none of them is anti-god in itself it starts from the realm of the spirit light be and it manifests physically as light so the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically your life and your destiny your children physically like the dear ones who shared their testimony here can you imagine that one word just comes by the spirit and dear people of god look at this one word to a politician may god shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed how about a businessman you're trying to do everything you know to do but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you my assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of god will be faithfully done tonight are you ready please rise up on your feet just two prayer points and i'll begin to pray for you prayer point number one i'd like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray 
the things that are seen are temporal the sickness that I see is temporal the oppression that I see is temporal if someone pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Tonight it is, I, I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria. Just help those under the anointing already. I sense that tonight God is not only visiting individuals but God is extending it even to families I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so that you see there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive but God is using you tonight as an altar not only to speak for yourself but to speak for families are you ready to pray now lift your voice in one minute and say father not just me but everyone connected to me please pray not just me Outside pray, online pray. Jesus the lifter, Jesus the healer, Jesus the restorer. Hallelujah. 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 The final thing I would tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions. You see, under the influence of the Spirit, there are many things that don't make sense. But in the childlikeness of the gospel, Romans 15 and verse 19, let that be the last scripture. Let me show you something. Paul is speaking to the church in Rome, 15 and verse 19. It says, Through mighty signs and wonders, and by the power of the Spirit of God, oh dear, it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Ilricum, I have preached fully preached the gospel of Christ so the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles signs and wonders right now just before we pray just stand still everybody where you are no shouting no nothing I just wanted to bring for me those who are under the anointing whether inside or outside just do what I'm asking you to do sing hallelujah sing hallelujah sing hallelujah to the Lord sing hallelujah sing hallelujah to the Lord Sing, Christ is risen from the dead. Sing, Christ is risen. Sing, Christ is risen. Sing, Christ is risen from the dead. Because I, I just, I began to see angelic activities. Just moving across, inside and outside, touching people. And the Lord is giving me an instruction. Just bring the people out. Some of you, it's not just individuals. God is touching families, using individuals. This is a miracle service. Now, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Um, the Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing like fire. I saw the number 43, and I'm seeing it come on people. 
and the Lord is telling me he's visiting foundations that's what I'm hearing right now I stretch my hands inside and outside 43 in the name of Jesus I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands foundation I've been visited by the Spirit of God negative foundation negative foundation Negative foundation. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place of surrender. The word of God. This is the place where your life is changed. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me chains. I always see this in the miracle services. I'm seeing chains on the feet of people. And the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands. And right now as I stretch my hands, every chain, chains of ancestry that have held anyone down, bring them out. I decree and declare, right now, chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I bless the word of God upon your life. The Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. At most feet, now, change be broken. Olua Kemi. Hold on, please. I'm hearing a name Kemi. Olua Kemi. We have to be very fast tonight. God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Akemi. What's your name? Olua Kemi. From where? From my state. Or your state? Where are you from? From Obomosho. Obomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now, never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Madam, hold on please. This woman, please come. Bring her. Just be careful with the people with the... My God. Tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitation. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. You see, the thing about the power of God is that He can step in in a moment. Moment. Who is Silas? I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke. Of retrogression and stagnation from that family Silas please don't come out at random don't come out at random we're organized people this is a miracle service 
Where are you from? Edo State. Huh? Edo State, sir. The person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people, for that name, Oluwa Kemi. Two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you, right now. The supernatural power of God is coming on you. It's not something you can stand. This is the word of God. We're talking about the word of God here. Now, in the name of Jesus, every oppression over every Oluwa Kemi. Help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar, please. In the name of Jesus, madam, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, right now, I'm seeing light entering you. Let there be a, a miracle in your body right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name, but I'm seeing honorable there. Yeah. I know this must be a politician. Right now, as I'm speaking, the supernatural power of God, the Lord is saying He's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations. Please let them not just get up and move like that. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. It's not for show at all. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a family in total. Plus mother and father, I'm seeing a family of seven. You came here. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing my left side. The Lord is telling me that they are from my left side. Here. Just somewhere here. Is there a family like that? Please come. A family of in total seven this is what the lord is showing me do we have anyone like that please make sure they are correct don't we are not lying we are not faking it they came here let them come please break every chain break every chain break every chain i decree and declare over all of you here who have come out by the spirit every devil that will not let you go hear the word of the lord i declare by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three release their destinies now one two three go go now wherefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name be delivered now be delivered now In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is the family I spoke about? Just vet them. Let's be sure that. Let's be Hallelujah. Seven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that family right now. Seven, this is what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing in my vision. Are they here? Let them stand here. I will pray for everyone who has come, but particularly. Family of seven, where are they? Okay, let me pray. And then everyone who has come, no problem. You can join them. Father, now! Out of her now help that woman out now in the name of jesus release that family by the power of the holy spirit release them now in the name of jesus someone remove the child if she's holding a child so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child we are here for you come and do what you do Hallelujah. Where are you from, sir? We must keep we stay in Lagos. You stay where? In Lagos. Sir. In Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray for you. These are all your children, the family. Yes. Father, look at me. I'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit, and the Lord is saying to lose your hand. 
this is another family that's all right i'll pray for them the one of your daughters is going to be used by god and the power of god is going to come on that person right now as i'm speaking father i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god may that anointing that separates that consecrates and makes mighty may that grace rest on that one right now in the name of jesus christ and in the name of jesus i cut you away from this delay in the name of jesus christ and for this other family that has come in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare madam where are you from this woman where are you from from kogi state kogi state yes, sir. i want to pray for you yes. say i shall not die i shall not die in jesus name jesus. one more time say i shall not die i shall not die i decree and declare because i'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit you have been having dreams is that true yes sir and you see dead people in the dream yes sir sometimes you even see that you are the one who died yes, sir. in the name of jesus christ the plague of death ends now and i use that as a point of contact over everyone here if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones shapakatos ketebada in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now help them please help the little one now every family here represented i stretch my hands and i declare go forward in jesus name go forward in jesus name go forward in jesus name there is a family that came from kano where are they i'm seen by the spirit the lord is telling me there is a family that came from kano we have to be fast if there is such a family please let me know so that we can pray i'm seeing that they came from kano i want to pray for you right now i don't know if you're inside or outside kano i want to pray because we're going to step into a massive massive moment of deliverance strong deliverance that must separate you from and with anything please if you find that family let me have them here i just want to speak to them you came from kano let me pray for them right now i'm not saying you are from there i'm saying you came from there let me pray for you hallelujah the overflow outside i want to pray for them the lord is showing me something the overflow outside those outside i just want you to stretch your hand towards the screen i want to pray for you the lord is revealing something to me right now the overflow outside can you help me camera i want to pray for them our media people let's work together please i'm i'm just the lord is revealing to me those outside the overflow outside please stretch your hands i want to pray for you right now i'm seeing that the power of god is coming on certain people i'm seeing the number 18 i'm going to pray for those inside i don't know why god is ministering to those outside but right now those outside at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and i want you to bring all the people under the anointing outside are you ready one two three shout jesus right now i command those devils to leave in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy ghost bring them outside right now i decree and i declare by the spirit that raised christ from the dead my god i'm seeing yokes breaking breaking right now in the name of jesus the christ of god let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus strong deliverance is even for families in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be deliverance now those outside yokes are breaking 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 for those outside in the name of jesus christ now those of us inside at the count of three i want to pray for you now please pay attention it is true that there are spirits that oppress people it is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of god mysterious occurrences in your life 
habits that you cannot stop patterns that cannot be broken are you ready now all the other overflows following online at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus that name that is above every other name as you shout the one who is oppressed every family under captivity under the sound of a katosh ketepeketea under the sound of my voice as they shout that name exalted as both lord and christ let there be deliverance right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus release your destinies now please bring them out inside outside release your destinies now release your families now Hey, Pastor, take, 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 take. Help that woman, please. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Please bring them. Bring all of them out. I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare, I am free from everything that ties me down. Please pray. Lift your voice and pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't be distracted. I declare liberty. I am free by the power of the Holy Ghost. All the overflow in the name of Jesus. Free. In the name of Jesus, every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil shall press the pastor from the new realm. Let them go now. Release their destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here by the name Ishaku? I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where's your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? Mrs. Dawaki. I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your, not your name, please don't come out. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, according to the word of the Lord, I pray for you right now. A visitation comes not only to your life but to your entire family. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare, be free now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life. I bring you freedom. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the Lord is telling me he wants to help them, please, up the balcony. The Lord is speaking to me. There are families where it is the women that feed the men. No matter how hardworking you are, the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband, practically speaking. And it may not necessarily be because of laziness. It's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people. Right now I'm praying. Anyone connected to such a family or such a condition, right now the power of God is coming upon you. And in case you are standing here and your loved ones 
are victims of that pattern it is the lord revealing this to me in the name of jesus christ right now right now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing i'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money is been a gradual decline by the spirit of god we're not worshiping money here but if god gives a word on that wise we must respond to what he's saying i want to pray for you now because there are some of you altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic you will be surprised to see what happens to you now father i am praying even as you have instructed me there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a very interesting revelation this is for pastors this word I'm about to give is for pastors I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression the seasons of delay you are a man of God here please listen because something is about to come upon you if there are people under the anointing at this word I just want you to bring them out right now you are you are in ministry here the lord is saying the powers that are holding you down whether male or female you are in ministry missions pastoral ministry right now i decree and declare there is speed that is coming may that grace come upon you right now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now help them please take that grace now no more delay an unction is coming from heaven changing your condition by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah reverend sir the lord is giving me a word for your wife and the lord is saying she's stepping into a new season of the prophetic and of favor these two graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now madam by the spirit of the living god and according to the word of the lord don't bring her out just keep her there step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the spirit upon your life and also of the season of favor in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing 11 people this is a vision i always see when god is speaking to me about promotion or increase i usually see men climbing ladders and i'm seeing 11 people the power of god is coming on them right now the lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season you know i began to announce this from last year please believe what i'm telling you in the name of jesus father where are they whether in career in business in politics right now take that grace that grace that lifts take that grace in governance and politics take that grace in the name of jesus you are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you in the name of jesus christ help this man please help honorable please hold him i speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of jesus christ for as many as have seen some of you are in a season of promotion but as it is there are councils sitting down and there are voices that want to bring you down i stand by the grace god has given me help them please i push you now step into a new season i push you now by prophecy step into a new season
Kalemara Soba Shenekete Boska Lepra Haskadea. This woman holding a phone, I'm seeing fire coming on her. This one holding a phone in front. Right now, I don't know what it is, but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke everything that is not of God. Let it release you and let it release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. My goodness. There is such breakthrough coming for that family. Who is Jennifer? Don't tell lies. Please, we are serious people here. I told you by faith you can connect. It doesn't have to be, please, let's, so that there is a breakthrough. Because I'm seeing, I just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar. And I just saw it being destroyed. And I saw a door open. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus Christ. For this family, those of you standing in front right now. Every altar tying your destiny down. Right now, no matter how long it has stayed, those in front here, fire is coming upon you. I set that altar now in the name of Jesus. I set that altar right now on fire. He must let you go now. I release your destiny. I release your destiny. Everything holding your lifting, it comes under judgment now. Madam, this woman, please tap that woman for me. Lift your hands. The Lord is saying your life is about to change now. I release that grace upon you right now. This unction, this week will not pass, madam. You will see the way God will turn help her, please. God is turning things around in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, let me tell you this there is a fearful side to God. When he begins to move Just like that He will turn things around Just like that All of them out for the name That name I call huh? From Kano Okay you are at the basement Let me pray for them I'm going to pray for you All these ones that are out My dear That lady on maroon Look at me Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. I command that spirit to leave your family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now for all of you who are standing here. I'm telling you fire is coming on you. You came for a miracle service. You don't, you don't, don't forbear with evil. If you forbear with evil it will grow. I pray for all of you right now. Fire from heaven. Let it come upon your life and turn your story around. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the family from Kano. Madam, these are your children. There are two. I'm seeing two in the spirit. Where are they? Where's the other one? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's all right. I pray for you. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents hardship, we bring it under judgment now. There is a family that I'm seeing a pattern of the death of men. Men in that family. The Lord wants me to pray right now. A pattern of death. Either male children male husbands male father just male figures just keep disappearing where is that family it's time for your breakthrough right now where are you coming from male just is like there is a spirit huh where Bayelsa. where is that by elsa who is this let me talk My to this woman in china she watches online in China. Yes, sir. She's watching now. Yes, sir. Daughter, connect. I'm about to pray for you and pray for your mother, madam. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you. I'd like you to shout Jesus where you are. Go ahead, shout Jesus. Jesus! Right now, I command this altar. Release this woman now. Help her. Release this woman now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Where is this family I spoke about? Just a spirit that kills men. Please, people of God, look at this. Look at this for God's sake. How wicked and devilish the devil is. All your brothers are dead. Hold on, please. Let me talk to this lady. Where are you coming from? from don't, don't cry. Dead. How many of your brothers? <laughs> two, my two brothers. They are all gone. Those are the only brothers are my dad. And your dad is gone. Yes. <laughs> You see, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus. Look how many people are coming. One word from God. Now imagine for God's sake that you leave these same people. Because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here. Please help them. They should be careful with that the, the metal stand. Or, um, protocol, you should be able to help them on that. Please. Are you seeing what I'm saying? The stand here. Please. The ones in front here too, so they don't fall on it. Look at this. Now all of you look at me. You are standing here because you believe in the power of God. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Such fire will fall on you. And I'm telling you that altar, I don't care how long it is. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. At the count of three, Father, I pray that every altar tying down and killing men. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance now. The spirit and the altar that destroys men. We bring you under judgment. You are under arrest now. You are under arrest now. I release life to this family. Life to this family. And hear me. For some of you who, the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family. I pray may God raise someone else. Take that grace now. May God raise someone else. For some of you, that someone else is you. I place that mantle on your head now. Go and help your family. Go and lift your family. You may not look like it, but let this unction come upon you. Many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door. And as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for everyone too. That in the name of Jesus, hear me, hear me please. And believe what I'm saying. If there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by God to be to help that family, I stand by the God of my salvation. Right now at this August miracle service, may God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. I raise you by prophecy. I connect you to destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Please return to your seats rejoicing. We have to pray for the sick now. I expect everyone to still be praying. Please don't be distracted. This is a very holy atmosphere and God is turning things around. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace. A grace. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit help and visibility. And this grace is coming on everyone but particularly those in the music ministry. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe I worship team people in the name of Jesus. Help. Many of you want to move beyond this level. But I'm seeing that there are powers tying people down. Even though you are worshippers. I stretch my hands. Let me use our worship people as a point of contact. That fire comes on you now. 
from nowhere may help arise for you and anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry the ministry of psalmistry i declare help arises for you now help arises for you now help them please help arises for you now may the lord give your ministry visibility hallelujah praise the name of the lord now let's pray for the sick if you came here trusting the lord for a miracle either for yourself or for someone you're standing in for some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations but right now i want to minister particularly to the sick if you came with someone you can lay hands on that person now whatever the condition remember what i taught you the maker is also the changer please lay your hands any part of your body you're trusting god for a miracle for please lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you right now believe in miracles some of you are standing in for your loved ones go ahead stand in for them and there are people following online you're following from whatever tv station you're following from the internet by way of social media please connect by faith jesus still heals the bible declares jesus the same yesterday today and forever please connect with someone right now i really believe in miracles did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals i know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world this is because there is a healing jesus and he does heal he still heals now three things will happen please listen carefully one i'm going to begin to pray to rebuke the spirits behind those infirmity and to administer the healing power of jesus i'll do that very fast and then number two the moment i do that be prepared to check yourself already there are miracles happening for those of you who came out under the anointing you know all kinds of spirits usually when they go many supernatural things happen the moment i pray for you i want you to attempt to do what you could not do before you find out inside outside all the overflows you find out that there is a miracle that has happened to you i'm going to request very quickly that you will make your way once we give the permission to to come out either here or here we'll have a few minutes to take some testimonies and then whilst we're doing that we're going to be um getting our prayer requests ready so at the same time if you're yet to write your prayer request for those who are following online please do well you have a few minutes to make that happen and those who are healed online you can send in your testimonies immediately by way of our social media platforms we'll do this very fast so that i now speak into your life please listen make sure you stay and receive the prophetic word i need to speak over your life as we're entering what we know to be ember months i don't know why what is it about these months but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people it takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones are you ready now please lay your hands let's pray i believe in jesus i truly believe in miracles i believe god heals i believe he will heal right now just agree with me as i pray the power of god is flowing right now just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out but do well to check yourself if you're laying hands on someone do well to communicate the same instruction father in the name of jesus you are the healer and you said in your name will cast out devils in your name will heal the sick i am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges i command those spirits to give way now i command those spirits to give way now right now let the power of the holy spirit begin to move from my left to my right from the front to the back from inside outside 
Be healed now. Be healed now. Ulcers of all sorts. Be healed now. Yet now. Organ failure. System failure. Let there be restoration now. There is someone, I don't know whether you are. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share, and subscribe. Thank you.